What's going on guys? Hey everybody, Mr. Mark Levitz here today bringing you the final lesson of Unit 4, talking about sound editing and sound mixing. Now there is no lab assignment to go along with this lesson, but there will be your final term project that I will assign after this. And understanding the importance of sound mixing and sound editing will help you in that final term project. Okay, so let's get into it. We have a couple definitions here on the board. Sound editing, the process of placing dialogue, music, and sound effects into a film. All right, you've recorded your sound effects. Now you have to physically place them into, you know, the final cut of your film. Okay, all of those gunshot sound effects that you have need to line up perfectly with the muzzle flash coming out of the gun, right? Otherwise, if it's off, even by a frame or two, the audience will notice and they'll say, yeah, that's, somebody didn't do their job, all right? So all of that placing, the placing of music, the placing of dialogue, the placing of sound effects, um, all of that would fall under this umbrella of sound editing, okay? But you're not done yet. Because now the real, now, now the real fun starts. Sound mixing, the balancing of these sounds into a single soundscape. Okay, this is where I struggle. Okay, um, you've got your dialogue track, you've got your music track, you have your sound effects. Okay, now you have to decide how much attention do I want to give to each one of those you know, tracks, okay? Do I want my sound effects to be uh, front and center? Do I want them to be the loudest thing that we hear? Or do I want them to be, you know, a little quieter, a little more subtle? Um, do I want the music to be, you know, the loudest thing that the audience hears? Or do I want the music sort of subtle in the background? Or do I want to start loud and then sort of fade it out? Whatever. Putting on different filters to make uh, echo sounds or make it sound like your person is talking through the end of a telephone, whatever. This is all part of the sound mixing process, okay? Um, here's a fight scene from 2019's The King. sound mixer here is is really trying to make the audience hear those sound effects right there's music playing you might not be able to hear it but it's there okay but it's buried deep in the mix okay because again the 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 mixer really wants that that metal sound of the clashing swords and the, the chain mail to, to really be the thing that the audience hears. And that might be to, to, to make it feel like, you know, the audience is there on the battlefield or, you know, I don't know, whatever. I was going to say maybe they didn't do their job properly, but they're professionals. They did their job properly. This is obviously what they were going for. Uh, whereas uh, this fight scene from The Empire Strikes Back with Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker, notice how much more the music, the background music, sort of takes precedent. The sound effects are still there, um, but there's more of a balance between uh, the sounds and the music, uh, which we weren't really getting in The King. I'm not saying that one is better than the other, it's just different strokes for different folks, right? Um, but yeah, there you go. Sound editing and sound mixing, the placing of sounds, dialogue, music in your film, and then the balancing of those sounds the music and the dialogue in order to make this harmonious soundscape for the audience. All right, uh, a lot of you guys with your last lab assignment maybe ran into some problems with the balancing, right? It's, it's an art and it's difficult and I've been doing it for many years and I'm still far from <laughs> good at it, all right? But anyway, uh, there you go guys. Congratulations on finishing this unit. I got one more big project for you guys to work on, but uh, as far as the lessons are concerned, 
this is the end of our unit on sound. See you guys.